Alright, so Military Tycoon just released a new update, which is the AAV tank. I believe it stands for Amphibious Assault Vehicle. And this is a really cool tank, and it's pretty cheap to build. So this is how it looks like. Let's see. And what's pretty cool is that this thing can travel on water. I'll also show you, I will show you right now. Pro driving moment. This thing can also travel on land, and it has a decent speed of uh, around 40. And when you drive it onto the water, it has a pretty cool effect. Now, now let's test the weaponry. It has um, it has a two-in-one cannon. For starters, it has a machine gun. And it has heavy shells, which you all you would have to do is press the little rocket sign. And then there's a little heat meter above that, like, is that just like a cooldown? I'm pretty sure it is. Let's see the maximum speed of this. The maximum speed is, oh wow. Here's, whoa. It is almost a 90 on water. That is very cool and very, very fast. And they did update the underground vault, which I will show in a sec. I did get the new explosive armor. <clears throat> which is which spawns right on the first floor of your of your base. It only get it only grants an extra forty HP. But it does grant you forty percent black explosion protection, so you probably be able to And the uh, room that they upgraded was the meeting room, because the meeting room just be, used to be like a cheap rectangular table. Now the table is the entire map, showing pretty much showing the fortresses, the little dams. I believe these are the villages, and it it's a it's a pretty detailed map too. And. And I did get the new Skull Armor too, which grants an extra 80 HP. Nothing, nothing special, no special effects, but it does grant an extra 80 HP, which is more than the other armors. And next is, I wanted to show you the half-track vehicle. So, there's like a little lift button with the garage. You lift it down. Very slow. Very slow. So, pro. So, there's a little machine gun variant of this. And then there is the heavy turret version of this. This is a pretty, it's a pretty speedy vehicle. However, there's just one thing that's bad about the vehicle. The turret doesn't turn 360. That's the thing. It turn 360. But, look, I'll show you the speed too. <clears throat> the speed of both of them are the same too. And that is a pretty nice design on it. We're gonna have to go up to the garage for this one.
There we go. Enter driver seat. There we go. It has a max speed of, of around 76, <clears throat> which is pretty speedy. Another downside about this vehicle is um, you can't con you can't drive and control the turret at the same time like the other vehicles. You need a second player just so you can shoot. And that is that is okay. That is it for this update video. Nothing much happened in this update. I don't know when they're gonna add tactical nukes or if they are even gonna add those, cause you no, know, the update's taking forever. But that is pretty much it.